Hey there, you know what they say, a desk is more than a workspace. It's a hub of creativity and productivity. And let me tell you that my desk is no exception. Whether I'm working, gaming, or doing YouTube content creation, my desk has me covered. Not only this desk is super sturdy and well constructed, but it's also got a sleek design that never fails to impress anyone who sees it. Trust me, this desk setup takes it to a whole nother level. In this video, we're gonna share the top tips for creating an awesome looking workspace. So I finished this desk as a DIY project and let me tell you, I'm seriously impressed with how it turned out. For this desk build, I used a combination of parts from Ikea and Amazon. Countertop is from Ikea, it's a solid piece of wood and the legs are from Amazon. Countertop comes unsanded, but I took care of that by sanding it down and then staining it a dark oak color. It looks absolutely gorgeous in natural wood finish. On top of that, the desk is absolutely sturdy and would last for years to come. Trust me, this DIY desk setup is pretty awesome. Now, if you spend a lot of time on your desk, kind of like what I do, then you know how crucial it is to have a comfortable and ergonomic desk space. That's why I paired my IKEA tabletop with desk legs that are fully adjustable with a push of a button. This allows me to easily switch between sitting and standing positions throughout the day, which helps me prevent any fatigue. Now, I have to admit when I was getting these legs, I was a little hesitant, but after owning them for over a year and using it so many times, I can confidently say that, that they have held up pretty well. These desk legs are pretty budget friendly. They run for about 200 to 250 depending on the sale highly recommend that you get it now let's talk about the monitor just look at this thing it's huge i've been using the samsung crg9 ultra wide monitor for about two years now and it's become my go-to for everything from gaming to content creation. It's about 49 inches wide and it has really changed the way I use my computer. I don't think I can go back to a regular size monitor after experiencing the benefits of an ultra wide screen. Not only it's great for productivity, but the curved design also immerses you in the game. When gaming, it feels like, like I'm in right in the middle of the action. If you're considering getting this ultra wide monitor, then I highly recommend it. I recently did a full review of this, so do check out that video. I'll link it up here. Or here somewhere. Moving on to my laptop. Now I love my MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor. It's my go-to for everything from working to play. Well, not play. I mainly use it for work and doing YouTube content creation. It's the whole reason I got it. Its performance and battery life is amazing and it's super portable, which is perfect for someone like me who's always on the move and on the go. I also appreciate the seamless integration with other Apple products like my iPad and iPhone. When working at my desk, I use the CalDigit TS3 docking station to turn my MacBook Pro into a desktop. When using a docking station, it's super convenient to be able to connect all my peripherals with one cable. On top of that, this docking station keeps my desk organized and clutter free. There are no wires or anything running around. There are a few wires, but like it's not as messy as it could be. The combination of this MacBook Pro and the docking station has greatly improved my productivity and made my work experience much more enjoyable. By the way, this is the CalDigit TS3. I think a new version TS4 is out, so I'll link them both in the comments below. Check them out. The reason I recommend CalDigit docking stations is because they work flawlessly with Apple devices, unlike those other brands that usually fail or have some other issues along the way. When using my MacBook Pro in the desktop mode, I use a vertical laptop stand. This helps my MacBook Pro stay cool and off to the side. The laptop stand is by a company called Human Centric. I got it in the space gray color. It's highly rated on Amazon with over 3000 reviews. Overall, this stand has rubber pads where it makes the contact with the MacBook Pro. So your laptop will not get any scratches when using it with the stand. I mainly use this stand when I dock it with my CalDigit docking station. Now let's talk about gaming. Gaming is an essential part of my life. I've been a PC gamer since for the longest that I can remember. Now I custom built this PC back during the lockdown days. It has an Intel Core i9 processor paired with an RTX 3080 graphics card. I've been using it for two years and so far it's been performing pretty great. I've been planning to upgrade but I don't think I need to because everything still runs pretty smoothly on it. These days I've not been able to game as much but I still try to find 30 to 40 minutes to game every day. The best part of this PC are those LED fans. They're mainly there to remove any hot air from the PC, but just look at them. They look gorgeous. I can change the color themes depending on my mood, and I do change them once in a while. And here are some different examples of different themes that I cycle through every few days. For the mouse, I purchased the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse. 
and I have to say that I'm really glad that I did. This mouse is a productivity beast. I needed something that I could make my life a lot easier when editing videos and use multiple devices at the same time. This mouse really helps me with my daily productivity and it checks all the boxes that I need. It works great with my Windows PC, my work laptop, and my MacBook Pro at a press of a button. I mostly use this Logitech MX Master 3 for YouTube content creation and work. For gaming, I use the Logitech G502 Lightspeed mouse as that's more geared towards gaming. That mouse has 11 programmable buttons, not sure who uses all 11, but what I like about it is got a comfortable design and it fits easily on the palm of my hand. When doing competitive online gaming, it's really important that you have the right gear to win every time. All in all, I'm really happy with both of these Logitech mouse or mice. Mice, I think, yeah. I'm very happy with both of these Logitech mice. For the keyboard, I use a custom keyboard that I built myself as my daily driver. Hang on a second. All right, here it is. This is the Gamma K LK67 that I purchased all separately and put it together by myself. I even added some custom personalized touches like adding sound dentening to make it my own so that this keyboard has a thocky sound. I might do a video on how I built this, so I might share that if you're interested. Let me know in the comments below. Overall, this keyboard is great for gaming and it has a dedicated volume knob, which looks pretty awesome. The best part is that this works seamlessly well with both Windows and Mac. I have connected this to my Windows desktop, my work laptop, and my MacBook Pro and I can easily switch between all three devices with the press of a button. On top of that, this comes with a wired connection and you can use the wireless USB dongle and connect it that way if you don't have Bluetooth. The cost of this build was around $130 and it took me four hours to put together since it was my first build. Overall, it's an awesome custom DIY keyboard that really impresses anybody who looks at it. Now let's move on to other desk accessories like the desk mat. I purchased this desk mat from Amazon to use it as my mouse and keyboard pad. The material is high quality and durable, providing a smooth surface for my mouse to glide across, giving me plenty of room to move around during my gameplay. While it has shown some signs of wear and tear over time, it's not that bad. I just remove any limb that accumulates and my mouse glides smoothly again. Overall, I'm very happy with the purchase and I would recommend getting this desk mat because it looks and feels premium, but it only cost $13. Moving on to sound and audio. For my microphone, I use this Samsung Q9U microphone paired with the Scarlett 2i2 audio interface. I use this microphone in the XLR mode which in turn produces the best sound quality compared to USB. After trying out a few different options by buying different mics and whatnot, I found that these two work pretty well together. This Samsung Q9U is great for eliminating background noise and distortion. By the way, when I'm recording, there's a lot of noise, distortion, lawnmowers going on, and this mic does a very good job of eliminating all those sounds. Using a separate microphone like this really enhances the audio quality and the production quality of my videos, making them sound more professional and enjoyable to watch. I hope that they are enjoyable and professional looking. Let me know in the comments. To reduce strain on my eyes, I purchased the BenQ light bar for my desk and I have to say I'm extremely impressed with it. The light bar itself is sleek and stylish with a modern design that fits seamlessly on top of my ultra wide monitor. It's super lightweight and it's really easy to install. All you have to do is just place it on top and that's it, it's ready to go. Like I already mentioned, the light bar helps reduce eye strain on your eyes. It provides clear and even illumination at night times which make it easy to see during night times when I have all the other lights turned off. I can change the light warmth and adjust the brightness as needed. Overall, I highly recommend getting a light bar for anyone who wants extra light. It's a high quality product which offers the range of benefits and it sure meets all your lightning needs. Now let's talk about all the LEDs that are installed behind me. You see all the colors and everything? Let's see how that's done. For this, I decided to go with one brand. In this case, it was Govi, mainly because it's a lot more convenient when you're using one brand. I'm not affiliated by Govi or anything, which I don't know if they should consider me, but I installed the LED strips under my desk and the LED light bar glued behind my monitor. These Govi products have been great so far. I've been using them for over a year. So far, nothing has burned out yet, so they're holding up quite well. Trust me, installing these lights have really changed the ambience of my desk space. 
let me know what kind of LEDs you use in your desk setup. Now, my speaker setup is pretty straightforward. I use the Sony wireless Bluetooth speaker and I'm really pleased with the performance it gives. The speaker has strong, clear sound that fills the room with extra bass and it gives added depth and richness to the music. Although this is a portable speaker and it's meant for portability, but I've been using it as a stationary sound system at my desk. It might seem strange to use a portable speaker as my main device, but I'm happy with the sound and quality it produces and especially the bass that it produces. In addition to its impressive audio, the speakers also have some convenient features like party lights, built-in speaker phones for having conversations over a phone call, and it's got USB type C charging, which simplifies all my charging needs. Overall, it's great for gaming and listening to music. For adding visual interest to my desk, I added these artificial plants that I got from Ikea. Being around plants has been shown to have positive effects on well-being and mental health. I have noticed that having plants in my workspace helps me improve my mood, reduces the feeling of stress and anxiety. That's why I mainly use it in my setup. Well guys, that's pretty much it for my office slash desk setup. Remember to like and subscribe this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.